Propulsion libraries based on ECOSIM Pro. European Space Propulsion System Simulation. The European Space Propulsion System Simulation is an ESA initiative that aims to create a European simulation platform for spacecraft and launch vehicle propulsion systems. ESPSS provides a state-of-the-art tool for analyzing different phenomena in propulsion systems validated successfully with experiments entailing priming cases, two-phase tank fill filling processes, and the Ariane 5 ESCA upper stage. As ESA holds the proprietary rights to the ESPSS libraries, any entity interested in using them needs prior approval from ESA. It consists of a set of libraries based on the ECOSIM Pro simulation environment. The SPSS applications include modeling of spacecraft or ground pressurization systems, including priming processes, tank behavior, mechanical or electronic pressure regulators. Modeling of any kind of liquid rocket engine cycle, including turbo machinery, pumps, compressor and turbines, and two-phase cooling systems. ESPSS can also be used for detailed analyses of transients caused by inertia, water hammer, heat exchange, radiators, or control processes. ESPSS libraries. Fluid property libraries. This library is a set of thermodynamic functions returning the properties of most fluids used for rocket applications. Properties of perfect gases either as per CEA code or interpolated in external temperature dependent property files. Simplified liquids interpolated in external temperature dependent property files. Real fluids directly interpolated in external 2D property files normally obtained running the refprop code NIST. Fluid Flow 1D Library Hydraulic or pneumatic systems with coupled heat transfer networks and controllers can easily be portrayed with this library. Programming of the components does not depend on the working fluid. Conservation equations are stated in a general way, the fluid phase and the quality being calculated by the properties function. Resistive components calculating mass and enthalpy flows reverse flow allowed. Capacitive components calculating temperature, pressure, void fraction. Cylindrical area varying non-uniform mesh high resolved 1D capacitive pipe with 1D heat transfer with the wall. Working fluid definition, T for collection or bifurcation of flows, heat exchanger model, dynamic model of a non-return valve. Example 1. The following example focuses on a model of priming and cavitation in a pipe. Model to be built. ESPSS can be used to simulate hydrodynamic cavitation with or without a non-condensable gas traveling in a liquid and uses properties of real fluids. Goals. Trace the evolution of different variables, pressures, mass flows, and two-phase flow. The first step is to create a new diagram. Then build the system by dragging and dropping components from the library. Now connect the components graphically. Finally, build the model you want to simulate. Use the attribute editor to assign each component its parameters. For example, select the working fluid, the geometry of the pipe, the material. The bubble collapse begins when this liquid column is decelerated by the tank pressure and begins to enter the pipe, collapsing the vapor. A new cycle starts when the liquid column is stopped at the closed end like in a bouncing ball. Tank Library This library is an important complement to the Fluid Flow 1D library for simulating rocket engine tanks and spacecraft two-phase two-fluid tanks. Multiple correlations are available to calculate the heat transfer between the tank walls and the fluid. Most of the typical shapes of walls have been included as separate components to model heat conductivity in walls and insulation by using 2D spatial discretization. 
The temperature variation for 1D tanks is calculated along a vertical axis. The library also calculates the pressure of the gas resulting from boiling inside the liquid or from the filling process. Example 2. The following example focuses on a model of a pressurization circuit. The pressurization system consists of a set of three valves. One is normally open. The second will open when the tank pressure goes down a predefined threshold and will close when the tank pressure goes up to another predefined threshold. The third valve is normally closed. As the valves open and close, the tank pressure evolves between predefined thresholds. The vaporization level produced at the liquid gas interface is very important in order to find out how many times the valves open and close. You can see that the initial mixing process of H2 and helium, each at a different temperature, probably produces the pressure overshoot observed at the beginning, just after the first valve closes. The Turbo Machinery Library Two different types of turbo machinery are available. One generic model, if the off-design characteristics are unknown, and one specific model which can only be used with user-defined maps for well-defined turbo machinery. Turbine and compressor maps are very general because the parameters are scaled by the mean radius and the speed of sound. This library allows robustly analyzing the transients during the startup and shutdown processes where the reduced axial speed and flow are far off from the nominal values. The Combustion Chamber Library Models with one or more chambers can be evaluated under quasi-steady or transient conditions at startup and shutdown when the valve sequence is decisive. Wall heat exchange, pressure drops, cavity priming, and vaporization phenomena are taken into account. The cooling jacket components are completely modeled in 3D geometries built by means of several 3D walls around the channels. For non-adiabatic 1D combustor and preburner components, the equilibrium combustion gases are calculated by using the above mentioned ca capabilities as well as models on the evaporation of liquid droplets. Each model comes in two types, with and without thermal coating protection. The cooling jacket components calculate the injection torus and a 3D model of wall temperatures. Nozzle components are provided with an, a 1D spatial discretization. A quasi-steady implicit method has been used including non-isentropic effects under frozen or equilibrium conditions. Example 3. The following example focuses on a model of a staged engine cycle. The aim of this example is just to show the ESPSS capabilities regarding this type of engine. This model uses maps of the default performances of the turbines. The propellant fluids must be defined inserting two working fluid components in the circuits connected to the respective injector ports. The model is able to simulate the startup and the shutdown of the engine, including the relevant phenomena cavity priming, liquid vaporization, pressure temperature rise in the chamber during ignition, etc.